This is a Thinker Academy lesson four. Why so much information passes by you and how to catch it. You ever feel like so many ideas sneak past you? You realize the teacher's been talking and you haven't heard a word? Or your eyes wave you over the pages and you have no clue what you've read? Where does all that information go? It seems to blow by and disappear. Get away without a trace. Maybe your unconscious brain picks it up. Did you learn a little without really trying? Or is it totally gone? Learn what your mind does with all those signals zooming by and be ready to snag the information that you really need. So, here's a little video about your sensory memory and how the signals work. We receive lots and lots of signals from the outside world all the time. Our sensory memory is the first holding area for these signals. It takes time to sort through all the signals. As we're thinking about what we just heard or saw, the original signal can easily change or go away. Sensory memory gives us a snapshot of the state of the world at a specific moment. Our mind then uses this snapshot as a starting point for more information processing. Each of our five senses, seeing, hearing, taste, touch, and smell has a sensory memory. Signals are stored in the relevant sensory memory for very brief periods. The signals fade away if they're not dealt with in that short time. We'll focus on two of the five senses in this course, the sensory memory for seeing and hearing. Most of the information you process when you study comes from these two senses. The sensory memory store for seeing is called the icon. It is very short-lived, lasting less than a second. The sensory memory store for hearing is called the echo. Information in the echo lasts longer, a couple of seconds. What was that an example of? The icon or the echo? So here's a little bit about attention and perception. Our sensory memory stores receive many more signals from the outside world than we can process. Our information processing system selects the signals we think are most important to continue working with in short-term memory. This activity is called attention, as when a teacher says, pay attention because what I'm saying is important and will be on the test. Signals that you don't pay attention to are lost. When signals come into our sensory stores, they are just raw data. They don't mean anything to us yet. Perception is the process of transforming the raw signals into meaning. Perception works by matching the signals to patterns stored in long-term memory. If a pattern exists, then you interpret the signal. You make sense of it. It has meaning for you, and you move it to short-term memory. If no pattern exists in long-term memory, then the signal is usually lost. The teacher's mouth is moving and the words are coming out. Enter your echo, the sensory store for hearing. What does your information processing system need to do next to move the words to short-term? So, Here's a practical exercise for you. Take three minutes to write down everything you can think of about your topic. Whatever topic you selected, you'll have some thoughts and ideas related to it. You will have heard or seen things that give you a sense as to what it's all about, maybe even touch, tasted, or smelled. Just relax and freely type in the keywords and short phrases to indicate all the possible facts, thoughts, and ideas that you can recall about your topic. Such phrases may include facts that you know, things that you vaguely remember, or experiences and the like. Go with the flow, write everything that occurs to you. Some people hold back information because they're not quite sure that it's relevant or important. Please don't edit anything out of your mind dump, even the things that you think might not be important.